Missionary of the Poor Sisters are a group of women who are now of diocesan right. They are a wonderful set of women who are very, very deeply in love with the Lord and also very much concerned about the poorest of people as missionaries of the poor brothers are also. gather together really for the purpose of saving the lives of elderly people, little kids who are handicapped found in the streets, but also mothers who might be considering abortion, mothers who have nowhere to go, nowhere to live while being pregnant, uh, mothers who are discarded in the streets because they have become pregnant. And so these sisters, missionaries of the poor sisters, were founded for that purpose, to handle so many questions that have to do with women and their struggles. Our apostolate here is called Holy Innocence Center. And it is a place that symbolizes the precious gift of human life. I love you, Jesus. I give you all my heart and soul. Jesus, beloved, I do love thee. You're my devotion. We take care from the womb our pregnant mothers um, who are thinking of either aborting their child or living on the street because if you're living on the street there's that possibility that you're going to you're going to lose that baby so there's life right there to when God calls them home the elderly because we also have a home for elderly women or women that are di displaced that because of um, they have Down syndrome or they're mentally incapable. Nobody wants to take care of them, and we take care of them. And we also take care of disabled little girls. Our centers are all female. But life to me, life from the womb until the Lord calls them home. When the woman is pregnant of any age, she's allowed to come here and stay and in here, she finds a place of refuge where she can consider taking on the life of the human child in her womb. The pregnant mothers, those are the women who are on the streets, those who find themselves pregnant, and because they do not want their children, they are thinking of abortion. We encourage them and we welcome them in inside our house as we help and encourage them to keep up their babies and their children so that they may bring up their babies until they are born. We tell them the beauty of their children and we encourage them to keep them. And I can say that from the time we have opened Holy Innocence Center, Every mother that we have housed, and it has been over 200 mothers over the past five years, not one mother has given up her child to us. Every mother has kept their baby. And to me, that is a great sign that God really is desiring for these mothers to keep their child and to be the mother for their child. We also take care of very disabled children under the age of 18. All the children we have at the moment cannot walk, nor can they talk. So they rely completely on the sisters. 
Most of our residents come from the street. They were abandoned by their own families and their own kids. And being placed on the street, sometimes being thrown on the side of the road like animals. But we, we go there or sometimes hospital calls us because they just throw them out and we pick them up, we brought them to our home, we give them a shower and a warm meal and include them as part of our families. And in this, we show them that they're not alone, they're not abandoned and that Christ is with them. And most of all, Christ is, is in their heart. And Though the body or outside may be deteriorating, but Christ is very much alive within them. We do this because of the love of Jesus, fulfilling the, the gospel by feeding him, clothing him, and doing all that we can so that we may keep the lives of many people. These children have been neglected, abandoned, and rejected because they are unwanted. These are the holy children. We love them as our own, as our own spiritual children. We take care of them as our own babies. We bring them up with full love as we would take care of our own children. My joy as missionaries of the poor and as a sister is rooted in our fellowshipping together, especially working with my sisters in the apostolate and working with the poor, especially even seeing Christ broken, Christ's own body just lying on the bed of a patient or a resident who is just bedridden and just can't move. It just reminds me of Jesus in all his falls going to Calvary. And I just find Christ here. The happiness I've found actually might seem like a paradox to many people, but I find great peace in carrying my cross. And not just my cross, but I find tremendous joy in participating in the crosses of others, especially in the lives of the poor. You know, it's a hard life, but it's a good life. It's a joyful life. If you just open your heart, um, you'll fulfill all your dreams, truly. Our only way to find the fulfillment of our meaning is truly in Christ and Christ alone. There is no greater love than to lay down your life for your friends. And it's it is the way. It's the way of Christ. And the way of Christ is difficult, but very rewarding. As I tell people all the time that we're not like social workers who get our pay at mountain or weekend. Our pay is eternal life. And there is no greater pay than eternal life.